uh, budget planning and how we can. Okay, I think it's uh, recording just started, so let me just start over. So today's session is going to be about operational budget planning. We're going to be lo looking at uh, methods, uh, how we can budget uh, components of budget planning and how we can uh, just estimate them. So uh, let's start. So before we start, let's kind of define what budget planning is, uh, operational budget planning is, and uh, like the objective of budget planning and its importance. So uh, operational budget planning, uh, it involves uh, forecasting and managing the financial uh, resources that's required to support an ongoing business operations for the future, of course. So uh, in the future, how many, how much money or what do we need to, in order to sustain or to grow or even to continue at the level that we are at, the, like uh, in operation sense. Um, so it, uh, like the importance is uh, it ensures that the company has sufficient funds or sufficient capability uh, in order to meet the operational needs and achieve its uh, strategic objectives. So operations uh, objective of operational budget planning, uh, the first one is to allocate resources effectively. So uh, like the company could have a lot of departments. So each department is going to need some funds in order to uh, like operate. So uh, allocating uh, this appropriate amount of money or funds is going to help these departments in order to like uh, operate efficiently. Uh, control costs, so it helps to monitor and manage expenses and stay within the budget because uh, whenever there is a new expense, we're not going to just jump and uh, uh, like pay for, for it. We're going to lo look at our budget and like try uh, like look for ways in order to avoid that. And forecast the financial performance. It helps us the the budgeting helps us to work at to predict or forecast future uh, financial conditions, uh, just to be to make informed decisions. So the last one is actually in relation to this one. So it helps us or supports us in the decision making process by providing us a financial framework. Okay, so. Uh, the components of uh, operational budgets are uh, revenue forecasting. So revenue means like uh, forecasted or pre uh, like pre uh, future sales, or it could be from other, of course, other uh, like income sources or so on. Uh, expense are generally uh, classified into three. The first one is uh, fixed costs, which are not uh, like which do not vary with time. Variable costs, which vary with time. Like uh, where, where, when I say with time, they're not constant all the time. Whenever, uh, like for instance, for the variable cost, where whenever we are uh, like, uh, let's say, uh, trying to produce more products. So when we are trying to produce more products, the cost of production is going to uh, go up, right? Uh, so that kind of expense are called viable expense. And for the fixed one, like rent, once you have rented the place, um, you're, you're not going to uh, like add or subtract the money uh, like from month to month, depending on the, ma the market. But you're going to be paying uh, the agreed upon amount each month. So that's fixed. And uh, capital exp expenditure, are purchases like big purchases that are not going to be uh, like that are not going to occur uh, like frequently so investments in equipment technologies and so on so these are like huge huge uh, investments or big purchases uh, cash flow projections which are uh, like when we talk about cash flow we have income uh, like uh, cash in inflow and cash outflows. So by, by subtracting this, 
uh, we're going to be how we're going to have the net cash flow and this is going to help us to stay liquid so liquidity means um, having cash so like whenever uh, we are going to make a purchase or whenever we are trying to pay uh, like debt or expenses we need to stay liquid like to some to some degree at least so knowing our infos and our outflows is going to help us to be toward to stay liquid and the last one is the last one is uh, a contingency fund which is reserved for unexpected expenses so we're going to be uh, going through them deeply so uh the first one is like uh revenue for forecasting which is uh like forecasting the sales uh, like the income that's going to be generated from sales or from other of course from other sources like income sources so how are we going to forecast this so the first thing the first and the most when i say the most like the uh for the best way to do this is to go through historical data of the company and uh, just use that to predict the future but in other senses, especially in your case, you're going to do a market analysis because it's going to be a new company. So you don't have a historical data, right? So you're going to be going through the market analysis to predict the future level. So the methods include um, trend analysis, which is uh, just examining past trends uh, in order to project or to predict the future sales. Uh, market research. Uh, this is uh, the market con condition in the competitors' performance and experts' opinion. Like, especially when you are new, you're gonna need uh, to consult an expert just to have some insights into that, uh, like markets. So, for a new business revenue, fifth-month uh, revenue, you can follow actually this uh, one of one or more than one actually uh, of this so the first one is market analysis which is uh studies the industrial trends and customer demand uh competitive analysis analyzing your competitors customers has surveyed by collecting feedback on potential uh or customers that are interested in pricing like uh your personas this means uh like a pilot program which is just launching a small version of your product into the market and like gaining uh like insights from your uh customers and just when you are building the, the real thing or the big company you're going to be implementing uh, what you have found from there uh industrial benchmarks this is using standard uh financial metrics and they show from sales similar businesses so is it clear so far guys okay so let's jump to expenses so uh, when we talk about expenses we have three that we're going to be looking at them as two like uh we're going to be looking at fixed cost which is uh, the cost that remain uh, constant reg regarding or regardless of the production le level for instance rent salary insurance these are paid each month uh, the same amount variable cost uh, these are costs that like fluctuate is production volume raw material, laborers, uh, shipping, uh, and so on. Electricity, like you, you can name those two. And campus uh, expenditure are long-term investments. That these are not, these purchases are not like for the short term to be used in. Like uh, when you when so the that time comes, you're gonna be uh, getting rid of them, but instead they are used for a long term. These include machineries, uh, technologies, infrastructures, buildings, homes, you name them. Um, so just to be, uh, like, just to have, uh, like, an alignment with the uh, project that you are doing, 
uh, operational, like the type of expenditures could be looked at uh, like, like this. Like, uh, operational expenditures are uh, like ongoing costs when in the business. So these are directly re related with the business, which includes salaries, utilities, office supplies, and so on. But capital, like we have actually talked about this one earlier, it's investment in the long term assets. So this includes uh, machinery, equipment, technologies, and so on. And uh, like this type of like uh, this, okay. uh, this type of expenditure is uh, like it doesn't depend on this is more more like a fixed uh, expenditure so it doesn't depend on the production but non essential expenses that can be adjusted uh, based on the financial performance so uh, like marketing campaigns uh, like uh, the marketing campaign cost could be less if the uh, company is not looking to market more, but it could be more if they are lo looking for to market more, right? And employee, employee perks, uh, this includes uh, yeah, like uh, promotions, we can say, and so on. Uh, and rent taxes and debts are or more of a fixed payment. I think uh, this one is uh, non fixed and this one is fixed. And uh, like cash flow management, when we come to the cash flow management, we have cash flow, which is revenue, and investments, loans, loans are seen like what you have loan, and uh, when you take a loan, you're, you're going to get a money, right? So that's called loan, uh, uh, cash inflow, because you're gonna get cash from return on investment, you're, you're gonna get cash, and from sales, you're gonna get cash. This doesn't include uh, uh, like uh, sale on accounts, which is uh, like when you sell uh, in debt or the customer doesn't pay you back, like it's going to, he or she, are going to pay, but it's not fine now, right? So that's called on accounts, but this that doesn't include that one. And cut out flow is payment of expenses, capital purchase, and debt repayment. So loan repayment or debt repayment are cash outflows. So the net cash uh, flow is going to be cash uh, inflow minus cash outflow. And if it's a positive, so you have cash liquidity, but if it's a negative, you have cash uh, deficits. So this is used to estimate uh, monthly cash inflows and outflows to maintain liquidity because the company need, uh, needs to be liquid at all times, at most times at least, because uh, they're going to be need needing to pay um, th these things in cash. Okay. Uh, contingency planning is uh, like the purpose is just to prepare for unexpected financial changes or challenges and companies set aside uh, funds to, to cover these unseen uh, or unforeseen expenses uh, and it's only used uh, in emergencies to avoid uh, disrupting the normal uh, operations so not normally it's uh, 5 to 10 percent of the total uh, Budget after you have cal calculated your budget, uh, you're, you're gonna set, set aside like 10 or 5 percent uh, to contingencies. Yeah, okay, so steps in uh, like the steps to uh, planning operational budgets include the first time, the first thing is setting objectives, which, which is define the financial goal of that. Budget period because not normally uh, budgets are prepared for a year. For a year, uh, the, uh, and the next thing is to collect data of past uh, financial performance. You have if you have uh, past history or the market condition in the operational needs, and estimate the revenues, estimate the expenses, and create a budget from there. And then you have to review and adjust uh, the the accuracy and make you know, like uh, review for accuracy and make adjustments if necessary. Because 
uh, if things are going to, uh, to, burn, to plan, like you don't have to make projects like uh, adjustments, but yeah. Minor uh, monitoring and control uh, is the final step. For now, you're not going to be working on these two, but it's, it's a nice thing. Only. So uh, just try to uh, the actual performance against the budget and uh, and make the necessary uh, adjustments. So the next thing that you're going to need to do, but uh, before that, is everything very good, you guys? Is everything clear? Okay. Uh, so, when you say monitoring and control the uh, project, I can have to do it. What does it mean? So, uh, the first thing you need is talking the performance of that, the budget. So, regularly we have uh, monthly big data or monthly data we have to compare uh, the performance, the financial performance of the company and the budget, just in order to identify any difference or variance and uh, just check if the business is on track. And variance analysis means uh, just analyzing the difference between the budget and uh, the actual figures or your budget and try to understand uh, why this difference or the difference in uh, or the variance came, right? And the last thing is adjustment. So after you have identified the gap and you have uh, like analyzed why the gap is there, the last thing is you. The last thing you're gonna do is uh, adjustment. So you're gonna make adjustments to either the budget or the operations based on the performance analysis, just to ensure that the the, the, the business remains aligned with its uh, strategy. So you need to adjust either the budget or the operations. So, for instance, a manufacturing company might adjust. Budget to, uh, to increase the marketing expenditure uh, if the sale is below the projection. So, primarily, like they may have uh, budget like let's say a million, uh, one million for uh, uh, like marketing, but if the sales is not going as smoothly as they would, be with, they might need to uh, like. And look at more budget the marketing side and try to like lower uh, or get more customers to buy their products okay uh, so I think that's it for from my side yeah any questions guys yes Kateri. Uh, hello, uh, thank you for the very informative session. So my question is, uh, maybe do you have any ready templates from your side uh, where maybe some budgeting has been done? Yeah, so that we can just see maybe the practical bit of it. Yeah, that's all. Thank you. Uh, okay, um, so unfortunately I don't have it right now, but if you remember we have actually uh, done a project uh, on forecasting, right? So we have given you a budget plan for three years and you did for two years. So you can take that as a template, but, but if you need, like I can create it and uh, share it uh, by tomorrow. But I think we'll okay, okay. heard, yeah. Yeah, okay, either way it will help, thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, good question, Kitori. Any other questions, guys? Okay. Um, 
if there are no questions, I think we can end the session here. Um, okay. Uh, let me just stop sharing and. Okay, guys, uh, thank you for 